Maybe it was hard, and I think it was the way Galen, you have to give him the credit, and the way Galen did it, and it was just not something he was quite ready to do at that distance. Uh, under the weather conditions, you know, I mean, all those things played as a factor. Um, but afterwards, you know, even before going into this, I knew he could still be doing not only well here for in the 5K, but also in Olympic Games for the 5K. You know, I, I, I think even at that time, I've made a comment that that he would be, even if he had he made the 10K, 5K would be his better race. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, then at that point, after the 10K, then we wouldn't have any choice. You know what I'm saying? So we had to get focused and, uh, and uh, run a good 5K. Thank goodness there is quite a number of days. So, you know, in this case, and to be honest, I'm not necessarily really um, like the fact that the Olympic trials is so long, but thank goodness this one really worked out for him. It's great for him and that he, you know, had a couple of days and then only need to make through the, the, the runs and then we knew he was going to be okay with that. And then the, really the, at that point, the, the thing that I was trying to get him to, you know, I mean, when you have a race like that, your confidence is shaking and you, 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 um, you know, you're not sure how is your, your body is going to be react in that really, really competitive situation. Because, you know, I mean, he, he had a little bit in injuries during the winter, so indoor season was basically one race. And then come outdoors, things went well, you know, at Stanford for that 10K, but then but then, you know, he got sick, and then coming here to the Prefontaine, didn't even finish the race. I mean, that had to, you know, I mean, have a dark shadow on someone's confidence, and, and uh, you know, and then the 10K, certainly, like he said there, I mean, it was just something, uh, uh, you know, it would be so that the really the thing that I was trying to do and, and was just you know first of all really pointing out exactly what happened why the 10k was like that and we were facing the you know I mean we basically he agreed and I and actually I asked him and you know he was probably not necessarily telling the media but but uh, he was definitely telling me you know for sure was because the race was just too fast for him for in the middle of the race for a little bit and he was just not quite training was not there to handle that kind of race in 10k once again but then you know just because we we're being so cautious so that we don't you know get don't get injured and we're so cautious being not uh, um, Overtrained, so our training really has not been on the really hard side. That being part was why the 10k went that way for him. But then I was really just telling him, you know, you look at this now. I broke it down, you know, in this little thing. I broke down the whole race, and then I said, you know, you look. This is like how many 2Ks you've done, how many miles you've done, these are the paces that you've done, you know, compared to what we do in training. You just did that with no break, you know, because he, he did not drop out until about 7K, right? So he did race the 7K running really well. So I mean, I just presented all the things that way to him. I said, you know, just think about it. This is the kind of training that we weren't able to do before coming here. Now, this is just perfect training for you. So it's going to pay off next Saturday. And, uh, you know, which is true, but I'm glad, you know, we work at it that way. And then he, he totally believed it. And then he, you know, I, I think that gives him a little bit more confidence and and, um, and then the the first run race definitely helped tremendously uh, 
you know, being able to come back with a kick and winning his heat, um, that sort of really cast out the, the, the shadows from, you know, from the two previous races. The so, way he, the way he raced today, just kind of hanging back, being patient for most of the race, is that something that for him has come with experience? What was he like when he was younger, when you were coaching him? Well, I think, you know, when he was younger, he would definitely be right there with, you know, I mean, he was stronger at that time. He would definitely be able to to sort of, if someone makes a move, he would be right there. And uh, frankly, I'd, again, you guys can go back and, and look, but in my recollection in the night, I don't think he has had many situations where he is hanging back that far with 400 meters to go in any race. I mean, whether, whether it's Olympic Games or World Championships or even, you know, those Diamond League or 440 you know, Golden League races. I mean, if you see all these years, and he's been one of the top runners in the world for about what, 16 consecutive years, 17, 17 consecutive years, you know. Um, so this is definitely something fairly new, but we talked about it, and, um, and at least for here, it seems like that's how things happen that way, you know. I think it, it's proven over and over in all these distance races. So. It's his best race since when? Well, I won't necessarily say it's his best race, but, but since to be honest. When was the last time? Yeah. I, I think it's when the last time that he, we feel this good about the race, that he had such a kick at. You know, I don't know. I mean, the indoor 3K that he did in Portland, even though he didn't qualify for the team, didn't he was fourth or something. But we were massively positive about that. And we were, you know, I mean, again, he was injured in December, in January, and didn't run any race until the national championships in Portland for indoor 3K. And the way he ran, the way he was able to come back and doing that kick, I mean, we were really, really happy about it. You know, we were a little bit bummed that he didn't make the team to compete in Portland and um, for the for the world indoors. But we were, you know, just really. I think it was really promising where he could be at this point. And then we sort of hit another snack. You know, when he gets <laughs> sick. Um, you know, I mean, definitely it seems like these days stuff like that is a little bit easier happening to him, which. Anyway.